In this video, we're looking at how you can start with a reaction mechanism where the first step is a fast equilibrium step and determine the rate law for that reaction. If the first step is slow, then we can just write the rate law based on that slow step, which is the rate determining step. But whenever the first step is a fast equilibrium step and the second step is the slow step, then we have to do a few more things at the end in order to write that rate law. We'll start the process the same though. So let's look at that second step, the rate determining step. And from that, we're gonna write the rate law based on that slow step. In this case, rate equals K times into O2 concentration times O2 concentration. But there's a problem there, and that's that in our rate law, into O2 is an intermediate. In other words, into O2 isn't really one of our reactants. It's not present at the beginning of the reaction. It gets made in the first step right here, but then it gets used up in the second step. And we can't have a rate law based on something that's not even a reactant that we have present during the reaction. So what we're gonna need to do is substitute something else in for that intermediate in our rate law. To figure out what that is, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna write the fast step as a mathematical equation. Now this mathematical equation isn't technically true, but it will help us solve this problem very quickly. So we're gonna look at that fast step and we're gonna write NO concentration squared because there's the coefficient of two in this reaction right here. And so we write that as a squared on the concentration of NO. We're gonna set that equal to the products of that first step, which is into O2. And that's just to the power of one because it's just one into O2. So now we've written that fast step as a mathematical equation that we can use to substitute in for the intermediate into O2. So we'll substitute in the concentration of NO squared in for into O2 concentration. And then we're just gonna rewrite our rate law with that substitution made. So we'll get rate equals K times the concentration of NO squared, because here we substituted that in for into O2 concentration. And then we bring down the O2 concentration and that'll give us our final rate law. In this case, rate equals K times concentration of NO squared times concentration of O2. Both of those compounds, NO and O2, are in our overall reaction. Neither of them is an intermediate, and so we're good to go. This is the rate law that matches this mechanism. To recap those three steps, the first step is we'll write the rate law based on the slow step, just like we normally would. Then we'll write our fast step as an equation. We'll use the coefficients in the reaction, in this case two and one, as our exponents in our equation. And then finally, our third step is we'll substitute in for the intermediate so that we don't have an intermediate in our rate law anymore. Let's do one more example of this. Here we have a three-step reaction, but it works just the same as if it were a two-step reaction. We'll follow the same three-step process like we did in the last problem to determine the rate law. So first thing, we'll write the rate law based on the slow steps, which has H and two NOs as its reactants. So we'll write rate equals K times concentration of H times concentration of NO squared because of that coefficient of two before the NO. Then we'll take our fast initial step and we'll rewrite that as a mathematical equation. And the reason we have to do that is because we have an intermediate, which is that H in our initial rate law, which we can't have an intermediate in our rate law. So here we have H2 concentration equals H concentration squared. And I just got that from step one, H2 concentration equals H concentration squared because of that coefficient of two. We're not ready to substitute in just yet though because our H concentration is squared and we need just H by itself without that squared. So we'll take the square root of both sides and that'll get rid of our H squared. So we just have concentration of H and we won't use the square root. We'll write that as a power of one half, which is the same thing as having square root. So we'll write H2 to the power of one half. And now we can substitute in that H2 to the power of one half in for our H concentration in our initial rate law and we'll rewrite that rate law. So we'll get rate equals K times H2 concentration to the power of one half. And then we'll bring down our NO concentration squared to get this as our overall rate law. And that's how we can have a half order reaction with respect to one of our reactants, in this case, with respect to H2 concentration. To recap again, we wrote our rate law based off of our slow step. Then we took our fast initial step and wrote a mathematical equation based off of that using the coefficients as our exponents for the reactants and the products. Then we solved for the intermediate and we substituted that in for the intermediate and rewrote our rate law based on that. 
So that's how we can take a mechanism with a fast initial step and write a rate law that doesn't include any of the intermediates. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.